data there will be Akira node chain will be genesis dot json and lib p2p will be mobile 0.0.0 1000 yeah let me copy this everywhere so first let me just make sure it's correct Whoa, what do you mean no genesis.json? Oh, I spelled it wrong, wow. Did I spelled this wrong too. No, I didn't. So yeah, it is one thousand and one. One ten thousand and one. So yeah, I guess I can go ahead and fix that. Perfect, perfect. This is the one I spelled wrong, Genesis. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me copy this over here. So that's what I'm gonna use for that address. Um, I want to have more addresses that I point to just like um like the JSON RPC address uh what else the GR I mean I can pick the GRPC address um so let me think what was the address that I picked uh yeah I remember and um JSON RPC could be zero point zero point zero uh, and um, should I do GRPC? Yeah, let's do GRPC address. Let me just make sure this is correct again. Um, one second while I double check to make sure I'm doing this right and I do want to have a NAT address that's going to be the address of my peer I'll get that over here I'll get my address my IP address right over here Perfect, and I'll do seal at the end. Okay, perfect. One thing I'm going to need to change here is the IP addresses. So let me get the last one. Let me get the second last one. And let me get the second one. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's start with this one. Okay, it's online. Now let's launch the second one. Oh, it discovered it. Yup, it had discovered it. Connected to this peer. Yup, perfect. 
Let's see if it, this one joins. Okay, it discovered both peers. We're online. Now this one. I'll, I'll launch this one later. Let me see. give it a second. Let me see. If the, yep, these are in sync. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let me make sure they're in sync. Yep, block two, block two, block two. Let me see if I can query anything. I'm going to launch the third, fourth one. I just want to let the blocks go up so I can see if him sync back up. So let me do some curl requests. So I'm going to curl latest block number from this one, from node one. Let's do JQ so it comes out nice. There we go. Yep. Um, you, um, and I'm getting the latest block ID from outside of my EC2 instance. This is on my personal computer's terminal. So you can see, boom. And let's try and plug this into, um, yeah, I mean, we can plug this. Let me try another param. Let's try and get transaction by hash. This transaction doesn't exist, but, um, Watch, it's going to say here, transaction doesn't exist. Transaction with hash. Yup, there we go. Transaction with hash not found. It starts with XE3F. XE3F. So it is working. Perfect. Now, what block are they on? They're on block number 19. Now let's launch this one. Let's see him join up. Let's see how fast he joins. He's connected to all three peers. Oh, he's up quick already. He got number 24, he's right in sync. Perfect. Okay, great, now that we're in sync, we can launch our smart contract. Part three, guys, let's um, initiate our MetaMask wallet so we can deploy our contract. So here I'm on ETH mainnet. Let me add a new network. I'm going to call this one Akira. RPC URL will be Peter. Chain ID is 518. Currency symbol, I guess I'll call it. Ash. I don't have a block explorer yet, but it it should say I have a thousand tokens. Okay, I don't. Okay, let me go back and change the name of the token, I guess. Should be ETH. That works. Yeah, this should be ETH. I don't have any tokens. But I did do a pre-mine. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. Okay. I'm going to go deploy the contract. The issue, um, it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and deploy my contract. I resolved it. Uh, so I have some Truffle ERC1155 contract right here. It's printing out. It's making some tokens also along with uh, ERC, regular ERC20. So... Let's go ahead and deploy it. You can see here I have on my provider, Akira Network with my chain ID, 518. And I got two confirmations going, uh, so let's try that. First, let's remove the build. Truffle compile. Let's recompile this. And let's see how this goes. Okay. Truffle migrate. Oh, truffle develop, I meant. Sorry. Truffle develop. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's connected to an existing session. Let's see if I can deploy it on the Truffle. This is on the Truffle network, so it's not on Akira Chain. It's on Develop. I'm just testing it out. Okay, so it looks like we're good. We'll deploy. So go to Truffle Deploy. So I'm going to migrate to Network Akira. That's this right here. So let's hope this works. And I'm going to query it in my um, curl request. So let's see if this works. Let me zoom in real quick. Compiling. Network Akira, Network ID 518. And you could look over here to see if anything is changing. It's incoming any transactions. But I'm going to copy some transaction hashes and query that. Okay, now it's deploying the second contract. Okay, there's a transaction hash. Copy that. And another transaction hash. Okay, now let's see what's up with these transaction hashes. Let's see how this goes. Okay, look, it got the response. It's a lot of data. So it's got the gas price, the nonce, the value, the input. Great, so let's see if this token is imported into my wallet now. So the contract address, now let's go back to the Brave browser. I'm still on the Kira. Import tokens, contract address, there it is. Custom token, I imported zero. I mean, I made minted zero. So, yep, I got this token. Now, how about my ERC-1155? Deploying that. Contract address. Account, yep, that's my account right there. Transaction hash. These are different hashes, right? Okay, great. So, let's check this transaction hash. Oh wait, no, wrong thing. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. Let's try this transaction here. And while we do this, I think we should look at... Oh man, I did it wrong. I forgot to put the quotations. But while I do this, I want to look at the um, terminal to see the logs of the node that's running. So... I want you to look at this specifically. See if you see any transactions pop up when I, I mean, see if you see any response here when I uh, make this query parameter. Hmm. Requested the transaction. Oh, since it wasn't an error, it probably wouldn't say anything, but yeah, I am successfully querying it. Get transaction hash. I'm getting a transaction hash. Let me try something else. Let's get block by number. So this is the latest block right now. It's on block number. Are they all in sync? 483, 40, yeah, 484. So think about block 485, somewhere around there. Block 485, block 485. Aaron hash, difficulty, gas limit. Perfect. No transactions in that one. But um let's go back to here. Does it have the block number? 395. So let's see block 395 and see if it has any transactions in it. Here there's no transactions in the most recent block, so 395 that one. Get block by number. Mm, yep, transactions, there it is. So there's a lot of transactions in here. 
Yeah, look at that. So this is the result for the block. 